Valladolid, 2.6. Draw, 3.2. Granada, 3.3. Number one, what have you got for me? Well, I'm choosing both teams to score in this game. Granada comes for a great game against Barcelona. I was a little bit sad because I'm a Barca fan, but hey, they are playing great this season. Um, but shall I lead? Hey, at home they're really strong. And don't forget, they scored in Bernabeu a few weeks ago and they won one. So I'm expecting both teams to score, especially they come from games scoring. The price? 2.05. 2.05. So we've just opened the show and said how dull it is and how much you love Neil Neils. And there were so many teams who didn't score over the weekend. And straight off the bat, you've gone both teams to score. I'm expecting 1-1, one, one, maybe. So, so if it is 1-1, one, one, are you going to be like ju just OK because you've got it right, but you, you're begging for like Neil Neils? Maybe. maybe. Yeah, right. I, 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 will, I will think about it. I'm, expecting, I'm happy if they score goals in this game. OK, well, Martin, we move on. Leganes, 2.95, draw 3.05, and Bilbao, 2.85. Bilbao <coughs> sitting at the top. Yeah, and Leganes sitting right at rock bottom of the table. Don't think anyone could have predicted this at the start of the season, but uh, the Basque Country teams are on fire at the moment. Uh, yeah, Bilbao started their season with a victory over Barcelona, and they haven't really looked back since then. Uh, they've been excellent. Um Leganes, obviously, we know they've been terrible, although they did end a four-game losing streak with a very creditable one-all draw against Valencia at the Mestalla at the weekend, which I don't think anyone was expecting, which again alludes to this inconsistency that I was talking about earlier. Uh, but I still think Athletic Bilbao should be able to get a result there. It does look tempting just to go for a straight uh, Athletic Bilbao win. You can get odds of 2.8, 2.85 on that. But I think I'm just going to go for Athletic Bilbao, draw no bet, odds of 1.93. They have drawn uh, their last two away games in La Liga and they drew away at Roma as well. So just to cover myself, I'm going to go for that. Yeah, I mean, I look at that game and uh, Leganes must have killed nearly every single coupon that I would have seen. Valencia at home looked an absolute knocker. But then we say, yeah. and we say it regularly on this show, be careful when the price looks too good. I mean, they're around 1.75, 1.78, and they got backed into like 1.61, 1.62. I like both teams to score no in that Leganes Bilbao game, and that obviously brings in your uh, your one nil Bilbao or even a nil nil. So both teams to score no. We're going to move on. Yeah, I guess, I, um, sorry, I guess, Martin. I guess. I was just going to say, I guess Valencia expended a lot of energy at Stamford Bridge, beating Chelsea in midweek. That's why it's always so difficult to bet on domestic football after there's been European football in the midweek. Yeah, I mean, we go, we go from international break when they go and play them two games in four or five days. Then we've got uh, Champions League. It's just hard to get that run. But we're here to uh, try and sieve through. Iba, 3.5. Draw, 3.5. And Savisha. 2.3. Number one, it's a way win, isn't it? Yes, it is to me. Uh, they maybe have lost against Real Madrid, but Real Madrid comes from a, a terrible game in the Champions League. So they they went with everything all in. They, are, they were an ancient animal. And Real Madrid, when you have it against the wall, they are the most dangerous team probably in the world. Uh, Eibar doesn't know victory this season. So I'm expecting to, to Sevilla to... Recom how you say? Recover. To recover and have a comeback this midweek. OK, yeah, we also say it's bounce back ability when you come back from either a, a defeat or a poor performance okay. and, and then hopefully get a win. So I hope, uh, the price I have is 2.31. Yeah, 2.31. That sounds good to me. OK, we're going to move on straight away, Martin. Mallorca, 7, draw 3.75, and Atletico Madrid, 1.75. Are you hoping that Madrid get back onto winning ways? I am hoping that Madrid get back onto winning ways. I'm hoping they're going to display a bit of bounce-back ability at the weekend. I think it was Arsene Wenger that coined that term. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, it's always a bit risky betting on um, away at Mallorca because it's not an easy place to visit. But Athletic, Atletico Madrid's results recently have been poor. They really need to get back to winning ways. They've got a good enough forward line to take apart what is a very weak Mallorca defence. Uh, they didn't coat themselves in glory last time out, got thrashed away at Hatafe. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for Atletico Madrid to win. Uh, minus 0.75, Asian handicap, 1.85. 
1.85 minus 0. 7-5. Yeah. yeah, so think, half win if they win 1-0. Yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, win to nil as well is obviously an unders, unless they go goal crazy. Here's the one that jumped out on me after I've watched Espanyol three times. Celta Vigo 1.87, the draw 3.75, Espanyol 4.5. Espanyol cruise through uh, Europa League qualifying stages, scoring four, home and away, six. Since then... They've looked absolutely dreadful. Now they go to a Celta Vega side who are desperado for a win as well. Number one. Well, I don't know what is happening in Barcelona. If, I don't know if it's the water, the food, the air, but they are sucking this season in Cornellà, also in Espanol. Uh, but for this team, I'm choosing both teams to score at 1.95. In the last five games, both teams have scored. And the last four games, Espanol hasn't been able to have a clean sheet. So I'm expecting probably the uh, Celta de Vigo to win. But my pick is both teams to score at 195. No sign of them unders or nil-nils from number one today. Yeah. You've definitely woke up with the cheers. You? Give me some time. I will do, I will do. And we'll do another show on Friday for the weekends, and I bet it's nil-nils and under 1.5s all the way. OK, Marty, Real Sociedad, 1.75, draw four, Alaves six. Is this a bit of a tricky match? It could be a tricky match, yeah, but I do like uh, Real Sociedad to win it. They're fourth in the table after beating Espanyol 3-1 at the weekend. That's despite only playing once at home all season. Bizarre fixture quirk. They've been on the road four times. But in their one home game, they did beat Atletico Madrid 2-0. Won their last two games. Should be full of confidence. They're a good team at the moment. Alaves started the season really strong. They've since lost their last two games. And they're actually uh, favourites to be relegated from La Liga this season now. So... At home, you fancy Real Sociedad to get the job done. Uh, odds are drifting out a bit. 1.71 on a straight uh, Real Sociedad win. Bit more value, Real Sociedad and under 4.5 goals at 1.88. Yeah, I don't fancy they're going to be scoring five goals or the crowd are going to be seeing five goals. Number one, can you match that? Um, I'm choosing the under 2.5 goals at 1.71. In the last game, four games between each other, they have been under 2.5. And like you say, Alaves is having another game in the road. And also say they're really strong at home. They are a surprising team, especially with this other guy. Other guard is playing great. Uh, they're playing good. The Bilbao teams, like you say early, Martin, they are fantastic this season. I'm expecting Real Sociedad to win, but my pick is under 2.5 goals. It wasn't long. Only three or four games before we get the unders. He's looking for that nil-nil. Or maybe 1 0 because obviously one, one nil we want, yeah, 1 0 we're happy with as well, Real Sociedad. We're happy 1 0. Yeah, we're happy with that. Martin, can you give me your uh, your best bet if there is one with any confidence? I'm, I'm really not feeling very good about La Liga this midweek flash. I'm going to keep my stakes modest. Uh, of the lot, I'll go with, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to be Bilbao, hasn't it? Top of the table, flying high. They've got to go and get a result against Leganes. So draw no bet, Bilbao. Okay, yourself, number one? Uh, midweek is tough sometimes, but this time I'm going to stay away from the bankers and just let us wait, hope and see. Well, I really like Real Sociedad and under 4.5 at 1.88 and I like Celta Vigo at 1.87 and not because of Celta Vigo's strength, but because of Espanyol's weakness. And if you are brave, you can go Celta Vigo to win and both teams to score and that will be any price you like. It'd be way too big for you to even look at. You don't even go that far oh, down the page, I, do you? I, I don't even see that. It's like, oof, too risky. It scares yeah. me. <laughs> one goal in a game scares number one. OK, boys, until next time. We'll see you again on Friday. Uh, obviously, I'll see you before then, Martin. Premier League punters on Thursday. But number one... Looking forward to it. May, may all your games be winners? <laughs> yes, and yours too, Martin. Let's hope so. And we'll see each other on Friday. Thanks, Juan. Okay, yeah, I look thank forward to it. Yeah, nice one, boys. You take care.